Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to BASF, welcome to K2019, and welcome to our last live talk for K2019. But not the least interesting, definitely, I can tell that much. I'm very happy that Thorsten Leopold joins us from Henkel and Mario Schmidt from our Care Chemicals business. Thorsten, Mario, welcome. Happy to be here. Good. Thank you very much. Good to have you. So we're going to be talking about this detergent bottle, which looks like a normal bottle, but it isn't. And you can tell us why it isn't. Yeah, um, this bottle is so special because it looks really like a normal standard bottle. However, it is really made of um, um, material that is um, coming from a chemical recycling process from mixed plastic waste. Um, and the quality is really nice, right? Uh, so if you would do this now, for example, with standard method mechanical re recycling, you would get a really more grayish material because of the residue, the mixed plastic and the waste. Mm -hmm. However, now with chemical recycling, we get a really high quality material and we can integrate this now in our premium brands like Pervol okay. that our consumers love so much, right? And of course, you, you also have the sustainability advantage with that, yeah? Yeah, clear. Um, so, so with chemical, uh, with mechanical recycling, there's always a bit of downgrading of the material, and this doesn't happen with this process. Right? Exactly. So the the quality of the material is perfect. It looks like virgin, but it really has the sustainable advantages. It's really sourced from plastic waste. Is this already in stores? Can I buy it, or is this a prototype phase, a pilot phase? So th this is at the moment a first prototype. So it's not in the market. However, we, uh, in the partners, Alpla, BSF, and Henkel came together really to, to assess what is needed to make this happen. Um, yeah, and the result really um, convinced us the quality is perfect, and therefore I'm 100% convinced that chemical recycling will be in the near future really an, an, an additional process uh, next to mechanical recycling. Complementary approach. Um, we've heard a lot about uh, chem cycling already at this yeah. year's K show, but Mario, Please explain the process once again. What, what is happening, what is new, and why is it important? Right. I mean, first of all, of course, you know, having a customer over here, um, you know, it's very dear to us yeah, that we listen to our customers, that we take them very serious, and if they want to go on and uh, really enhance their product portfolio with material that is uh, from a recycled background, we obviously have to help over there. Yeah? So if we as BSF cannot do it, then who can at the end of the day, right? So I think uh, the process is, I mean, for me, being in... Uh, uh, controller guy, actually not too easy to explain. <laughs> Nevertheless, let me let me try that. So what we do, we uh, have um, yeah plastic waste mm -hmm. that is uh, collected, mm -hmm. and we take that uh, plastic waste through a thermochemical process and turn that plastic waste in some raw material. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so raw material that we can then use again in our Verbund uh, production site, mm -hmm. and basically get the same material out of it as we would use it or as we are used to it from a fossil material. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and Hence, therefore, um, yeah, it actually is um, really, really nice in, in that sense that we can put it in. The pyrolysis oil, as it is called, the raw material, is then brought together with the fossil raw material and uh, put through our crackers. And what we get from it is the basic raw material. Yeah? And then um, we use uh, some sort of allocation uh, principle, mass balance uh, approach, to really allocate specific pieces uh, of that uh, raw material to the materials that we get um, out of it. Yeah. Thorsten, um, how, how strong does a company like Henkel feel also the need from your customers for more sustainable, more circular solutions, especially in packaging? I think um, it's a key at the moment, right? Because we see um, how, how the, the, the people around and also we as a consumer are really looking for sustainable lifestyle and sustainable solutions. And especially recycling is really the key focus area because we need to establish really a complete cycle really to come to a sustainable solution. Here, Henkel, we, really, we are committed to do, so actually we have here following two approaches. First, mm -hmm. we want to integrate as much recycled plastic in our, our material, in our plastic packaging. Our target for Europe is we want to integrate 35% recycled plastic, and we are progressing quite fast. Um, for example, in Germany, all our PET bottles are already made out of 100% recycled plastic, so it's a great achievement. On the other hand, of course, we need to design our packaging um, in a way that they are recyclable, and our commitment is here that all our packs globally will be also recyclable by 2025. 100 percent. 
every packaging needs to be recyclable, right, by 2025. So it's a really ambitious target. And here I think also chemical recycling, of course, can uh, be, uh, play a big role. And therefore, we are really happy that we um, made this great collaboration. I think it's a good example of how we take it seriously. Uh, yeah, you mentioned the, the cooperation. There's a lot going on in this direction currently. Um, how long did it take for BASF, Henkel and APLA to come up with this bottle? How much fine-tuning was needed? I guess you will say too long yeah, at the end <laughs> of the day. Yeah, yeah actually, um, it was really the first time that to, to make it, and there's, of course, besides the technica technicalities, there's also, when, when it com comes to mass balance allocation, of course, other uh, things that you need to consider. Mm -hmm. So it took uh, some months. Um, but now we know how, how we have to do it, and uh, now we are discussing how we will go on. Yeah? Mm -hmm. So um, you mentioned that this is, a, this is a prototype, and of course you won't stop with a prototype. The cooperation continues, the development yeah. continues. What are the next steps? What's the future going to look like? So the next steps, in fact, we just uh, discussed uh, before the live talk. <laughs> so um, of course 2020 is uh, going to be a big year for, all, um, um, yeah, for the cooperation that we have uh, with uh, Henkel, and um, we'll definitely take it uh, beyond that uh, prototype. Uh, um, point and uh, definitely will take it to the next level and really bring it in a way you know that we can also launch it or that Henkel can launch it at the end of the day really in the market. Yeah, so that will happen in hopefully in 2020, but that is something that Henkel would decide on, I guess. Thorsten, um, Henkel's commitment towards sustainability is much bigger than just only when it comes to, to packaging or, or use of recycled plastics. In what other areas are you are you active when it comes to sustainability? So my main focus is definitely sustainability of packaging and mm -hmm. yeah, I would like to go here a little bit deeper because mm -hmm. besides all the technical projects, I think what is key is um, collaboration, right? And, um, and partnerships and here really it will be is also uh, one key aspect. We focus more and more on partnerships. One example is we have a founding members, for example, on, uh, of the Alliance to End Plastic Waste. Mm -hmm. Very important, I think, initiative, and we are also really engaged in the uh, new plastics economy initiative by the founded by the Alan MacArthur Foundation. So these are, for example, two examples. So this is this is another opportunity to meet uh, our partners from Henkel, the Alliance to End Plastics Waste, right? Because absolutely, absolutely. So there's also something where BASF is uh, very active. So the Alliance to End Plastic Waste is very prominent, I would say. Um, yeah, and then uh, the whole idea of circular economy. Mm is something that we as BASF focus very much on, as we believe that having a discharge of uh, plastics to the environment is not something that we should allow for uh, going, going forward. Mm. Uh, looking at our product portfolio, of course, there are a couple of uh, materials you know, where we have plastics that are based on uh, compostable and bio-based uh, material, mm. so to say. Uh, we are a member of the World Plastic Alliance, mm. And yeah, we uh, participate in several programs of the Ellen MacArthur Foundation, yeah. so there's plenty of stuff going on in the area of circular economy. That's really dear to us. That's something that we want to establish uh, within the society, within our business and environment. So therefore, that is what we are aiming for. We have technical projects and clear results, partnerships and collaboration across the value chain. Gentlemen, thank you very much for this live talk. It was great to have you here. Thorsten and Mario will be around, so if you have questions, feel free to approach them. And with that, I say goodbye for today and for K2019. Thanks. Thank you very much. Thanks.